everyone and welcome or welcome back. My name is Emily and I'm diagnosed with autism and I also say I'm self-diagnosed with ADHD because I was never actually tested for it but if you didn't know they often come together. But anyways, besides the point, today's video is going to be a day in the life of an autistic person or a neurodivergent individual. I also filmed this over a few days because I wanted to get the best clips that I could for all of you so don't mind that but let's get into my day. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I get up and I turn off all of my alarms. So one thing that I do, I don't know if this is an autistic thing or not, but I set three different alarms. I have one using the bedtime setting on my phone, one just using the normal clock app, not the bedtime part of it, just like the normal alarm. And then the other one is my sunrise alarm clock. I just get so much anxiety that I'm not going to wake up in the morning. So that's just one thing that I do to kind of help ease that anxiety. But it is kind of tedious to have to turn off three different alarms in the morning. And sometimes I still snooze some of them, but I eventually get up. As you can see after that, I start to make my bed. I don't know why I'm so distracted this morning. I'm trying to remember if maybe I was watching a podcast video or something, but I just seemed a little more distracted this morning. But this step has been part of my routine in the morning ever since I can remember. As a kid, my mom had us do the five things every morning to get ready in the day, and these included make your bed, eat breakfast, get dressed, brush your hair, and brush your teeth. And she always had us check to make sure we did those five things every morning and that's something that stuck with me throughout my life. Obviously there are more than five things that I have to do nowadays but if I'm ever feeling stressed or like I'm forgetting something in the morning I will just repeat these five things in my head or sometimes even out loud and I'll count them off on my fingers just to make sure I at least got down the five basic things that you need to do to get yourself ready in the morning. And yes, I am a pillow girly. I need to have all of my pillows on my bed. I don't really know why. I think it's more like an aesthetic thing because I don't really actually use these pillows. They just sit on my bed during the day and then I take them off when I sleep. So I guess they're really just for decoration. But as you can see, my room isn't ever like completely clean. Even though I need things to be in a certain order, things are usually still a mess. So you can see like on my vanity, I have stuff all over it, but I at least know where all those things are. So I guess my brain is okay with it being there, even though it may look cluttered to other people. I just thought that was interesting to point out. And this is how I make my bed every single day. It's always in this order and I love my little squishmallows that I have on my bed. I recommend those to any individual but especially people who have any sort of regulatory issues. It's just really nice to squeeze one of those when you're having a hard time. After that I usually make my green juice. This is a newer part of my day that I just started doing this year actually and I feel like it's making a difference but I'm also not the best at getting like greens in so I just thought it's worth at least trying. I don't think it's hurting me in any way so even if it is placebo effect I guess I'm fine with that and I think there's research coming out that like placebo can actually be a treatment now or something. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. I've just been hearing that so I will take the placebo effect if it's doing something but I had to get a new milk frother thing because my other one got like bent somehow when I brought it to my apartment so I got this free one actually when I ordered off of the bloom website they had some promo going on so I got a free one this definitely is not sponsored but always look out for things like that whenever you can get something free I I'm a sucker for that for some reason I always have to get free things but anyways I'm getting sidetracked I had to put batteries in it obviously because it's brand new and making sure it works. It was a lot more powerful than my old one, so I'm actually kind of glad my other one broke. And yeah, so everything's set up now, and I just mix mine in water. I know some people like to do it in lemonade, but I just mix it in water because I'm boring. But yeah, I have been having these greens every single day, and I just like having like something in my stomach before I start to drink my coffee and stuff. So that's another reason why I've been implementing this into my daily routine. <laughs> After my green juice, I usually make coffee and breakfast. Sometimes I use my Keurig and other days I use my coffee pot. This morning I decided to use my Mr. Coffee coffee pot. It just kind of depends on what mood I'm in and also how much coffee I want to make because sometimes I'll save the extra coffee from the coffee pot and just put it in the fridge to make iced coffee the next day. And this morning I didn't get a clip of me making breakfast. I used to have to eat breakfast like right when I woke up. I would literally wake up hangry every single day. I don't know why, but 
I would be in a bad mood until I got food. But lately, it's been weird because I actually wake up feeling more nauseous. And, like, any time I try to eat solid foods, my body just, like, can't handle it. I don't know if it's, like, a sensory issue or what, but I can only manage to get, like, liquid foods down. So, I've been having to wait a little bit before I actually eat in the mornings. Some days I'm fine, other days I'm not. But I'm usually still fine to have my greens and my coffee, so some days I'll just start with that and wait to actually eat solid foods but it's weird. I go through different phases of feeling like that and then waking up starving, so it just kind of depends on which mood I'm in. Also, I'm putting bottled water into my coffee machine right now because I have all this bottled water left over from my mom buying me bottled water when we weren't sure if our water was safe to drink or not, but I just need to use it up, so I've been using it in my coffee machine. So if you're wondering why, that is why. I really don't like wasting all that plastic, but we didn't have any gallon jugs left in the stores because everybody was buying water, so that's all I was able to get to use. So I'm just trying to make sure I use it up wisely. But also I go through different phases of what I'm eating for breakfast. So sometimes it's breakfast sandwiches, sometimes it's overnight oats, some days it's cereal. It just kind of depends. Some mornings I will write a to-do list on a little sticky note if I didn't already write one, but I use sticky notes all the time to organize my to-do list. I just find it very helpful and you can just put them anywhere and then throw them away if you are done with them. But this morning I didn't have one written so I had to make one for the morning. Then I go to class all day long. I don't have any clips of me being in class, but some days I am gone from like 8 to 4.30 in class. It just kind of depends on the day, but I do have some very long days of classes. And then three days a week, I work from 6.30 to 9. So some days I am actually gone from like the time I get there around like 7.15 until I get home around like 9.15. So very long days on the days that I end up staying there all day long. Once I get back from class, I'm usually so exhausted, so I'll put on my headphones and listen to music to kind of decompress and try to transition myself into doing schoolwork after having such a long day. I usually start this off by kind of cleaning up my desk while I'm listening to my music and some days I don't get home until really late or my day is just so long that I'm so drained I end up not getting anything done and I just lay in my bed on TikTok or something. It just kind of depends on the day but this day that I'm filming these clips I was able to get some stuff done. Like I said, it just kind of depends. Honestly, I don't know how any person gets through a long day of PT school and then does work after, but for me, I'm extra exhausted from trying to regulate myself all day from staring at the screens and being in the bright lecture halls. It just overwhelms me and drains me, honestly. But like I said, I try to do these little routines to kind of transition myself, one of them being listening to music or a podcast while cleaning up my desk, and that kind of lets myself know that, okay, we're cleaning up this space so we can focus on getting some work done. <music> After I cleaned off my desk, I actually made a brain dump because I was feeling a little extra overwhelmed this day. So a brain dump basically is just dump out everything that you're stressing about onto a piece of paper that you need to get done. So it can be things you want to do like in your personal life, it could be your schoolwork, your work work, whatever you want to do, put it on that paper and just get it out of your head and in one spot because sometimes I feel so overwhelmed 
and I'm not even aware of some of the stuff I have to get done. So I just kind of spend this time going through like my courses on our website, looking at what's coming up, what's going to be due, looking at my calendars on what's coming up, and just kind of putting it all on one paper. One thing that really helps me, again, don't know if it's placebo or actually helps, but I like to wear blue light glasses to my classes sometimes because I just feel like blocking out that blue light just is a little less of a headache maybe than staring at those screens all day. I don't really know if it does anything, but I feel like I notice a difference even if it's not. So again, might be placebo, but if it's working, then I'm going to keep using it. But all of my blue light glasses were getting kind of scratched, so I decided to buy myself some new ones, and here's a little try-on haul of them all. My blue light glasses were scratched, so I ordered new ones, and I couldn't decide which ones, so I got five different pairs. They're like all the same, but different colors. These ones are like a pink see-through. These ones are a blue like see-through ones. These ones are brown, but kind of see-through. Then I have these clear ones, which I already have these ones, but they're like all dirty and scratched, so I'm glad I have new ones now. And then I have these ones that are like patterned, but these are like lifesavers. I don't, I was like skeptical of them, but they save me a lot of headaches because I am, I get headaches from lights anyways, but these help a little bit, especially because I have to look at screens all day in my lectures and then also because I take notes on my iPad, I am looking at screens even more. I also use that to study and everything and I'm looking at screens right now, so they're just helpful to help block out some of the blue light. Yeah, I ordered some new ones because they have so many different colors and I just wanted to treat myself to some new ones. I also got a new phone case, which... I want to clean my phone before I put this on there because I have this clear one and it's like already like yellow looking. I don't know why they get so dirty so quick, but I got this one. Um, it's just purple lavender lilac. I don't know. I just did a little brain dump because that's helpful for me when I'm feeling overwhelmed. I wrote out like each of my classes and what I have to do and then non-school related stuff that I want to do. And then I made this little sticky note. I love sticky notes that are like my favorite system to use but I made a sticky note on the things that I want to get done tonight I have plans around like I think five so I only have a couple hours to work on this stuff there's certain things that there's one thing that absolutely needs done so I'll definitely do that first and then actually I have to send an email too so there's two things I need done and then the rest doesn't have to get done tonight but I would like to get it done but yeah I'm just going to work on some work for a little bit and then I will need to get ready to go to dinner. We're going to a dinner and then somewhere else to get drinks for my friend's birthday and then I don't know how late I'll be gone because I think we're going to her apartment after. I'm like really tired today. We'll see what happens. And then if I have the energy to do so, I will start to do a little bit of schoolwork and I usually at least do the bare minimum of whatever is going to be due the next day. Other days that I'm feeling a little extra motivated, I can actually get done more than what's due, so I am try to take advantage of those days when I am feeling a little extra motivated. finished all the score that I wanted to get done and we're going to dinner in like 50 minutes so I need to figure out what I'm wearing. I always get very stressed over picking out what to wear. I don't know why this stresses me out so much but it does 
a lot. I'm going to try to pick something out. I've been trying to think about what I even have. And I know I have like some jeans. So I was thinking maybe I can wear um, one of the two pairs of jeans that I have that I'm thinking of and then just find a shirt to wear with it. But I feel like I don't have that many clothes that I like to wear because I tend to just wear like the same things over and over again. And for school, I just wear a lot of things like this, the stuff that says my program on it because I'm just comfortable in it and I just prefer to wear this instead of stressing over picking things out. But I have these two pair of jeans. They're both like a lighter wash. This one has lots of rips in it and this one has less rips in it. So I think that's what we're choosing between. Um, I just need to find something to wear on top. I just um, always struggling to pick something. I haven't worn this in forever, but it's kind of like pilled. This is cute, but I don't think it's the vibe. I'm running out of options here. I always have this sweater, but I don't know why. I feel like this looks better with dark pants. I don't know. I feel like I wear that sweater a lot. I have this sweater too, but this is giving like winter fall vibes. Oh, I have those sweaters up there. <laughs> Let me go see what's in my other closet. So there's nothing in my other closet that I can pick from. So I'm gonna have to make do with this stuff. I also have some sweaters up here. Oh, jeez. I have these sweaters. Let's see. I normally wear these with leggings, but I have like these from Airy. Oh, it's kind of wrinkly. But I have it in this color. It's like a green color. And then this one's the same one, but in tan or cream or whatever. I have those. I've not worn those with jeans. I don't know how they would look. I have this crew neck and this sweater. But again, I normally wear this one with leggings too. I have this sweater. I just don't know what the vibe is. So I could wear this sweater. I don't know how that would look with this. Huh. I'm probably just gonna have to try a bunch of these on. Yeah, and I'll probably send pictures to my friends and they can help me decide what to wear. Okay, here's option number one. Um, I have like the less holy jeans on with this green sweater and I tucked it into my shirt. I don't know how I feel about that. Also the colors, I don't know. Like untucked, I think, also it's kind of wrinkly, but I feel like untucked it's doing nothing for me. <laughs> and tucked, I think it's like a little better, but still not great i don't know i don't think this is the vibe i feel like this looks better when i wear it with leggings and then i also have it in this color so i feel like this color kind of looks better with the color of these jeans but again i just don't know how well it looks with the jeans like i could try to tuck it in but i just feel like it looks strange because it's so like it has such a thick bottom part i don't know i just I don't really like how that looks tucked in. Yeah, no, it looks bad. And if I wear it untucked, I don't know why these are so um, wrinkly. I don't know how to fix them. I might have to try to steam them, but I don't know. Yeah, this is way too wrinkly to even wear. Let me try on the other sweater. I kind of feel like this sweater looks the best so far because it's not like wrinkly like the other ones, but um, this is the sweater, and yeah, I think this one is the best so far, but I normally wear this with leggings. I don't know why I just have a hard time with jeans for some reason. Um, and also these ones are have like a really uncomfortable tag in the back, so I know that's going to be bothering me. I just feel like the too many holes, like this is too many holes, but the color like might look better with it. But I like this sweater the best so far, so this is... Probably a number one option so far, but I still have more to try on. This is less dressy. It's just like a crew neck that I got when I was on vacation in Florida. I don't know. It's just like more casual, so it's not really doing much for me, but I hate picking out clothes. This is like a cropped sweater. I would probably have to wear it different. I probably put a bralette on because I just have a sports bra on right now, but um, I don't know. What do you think? I feel like... I think the one issue is, is that these pants are too big on me, but uh, we gotta work with what we have. I feel like this doesn't look that bad, but I don't know. 
Let's see. I think we're running out of options. I'm just gonna try this pink one on just because even though it's kind of like pilled looking, maybe it won't be noticeable. Um I don't even think I'm gonna send this one because I just feel like it does not look good at all. It's you can't probably tell on the camera, but it's very like pilled in. Also, it's not very comfortable. So I decided on the green sweater and I'm wearing a black bralette underneath and then these jeans and then I'm wearing my Air Forces. I don't wear these like enough to the point that they're still clean. So I'm wearing these. I think it'll be okay because I don't think it's gonna be raining. But I curled my eyelashes, but I didn't do any makeup or anything. And my hair is kind of crazy. So I think I might try to get these flyaways to sit down better. And then I don't really feel like putting on makeup, so I probably won't. Might put on some chapstick because my lips are kind of chapped. This is the final fit, and I don't, I don't know. I don't hate it, but I also don't really love it. It's gonna have to work because I have to leave really soon. This is not an everyday thing in my life. I wouldn't even say this happens on a weekly basis, <laughs> maybe a monthly basis, but figured I would show you. I just wanted to show you it today, so just happens that I am actually doing something and socializing today so love that for me but yeah I guess I'll just be back after to show you kind of what I do with my like night routine because this is kind of my after school routine plus what it's like whenever I'm when I have plans in the afternoon and for my night routine I will normally write a to-do list for the next day or at least the next morning sometimes I forget but this just helps me know what I should focus on the next morning when I get up and kind of gives me a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Sometimes I'll just keep this on my desk and other nights I'll stick it on my nightstand so that way I see it first thing in the morning, but it just kind of depends on what I'm feeling that night. This is one thing that does kind of change in my routine. I don't always do this step and sometimes I wait till the next morning to do it depending on how tired I am. Here is just another example of a to-do list I might make. I might write out a full daily to-do list. Again, it just depends on what mood I'm in. Then I cleaned my face and brushed my teeth and of course I watched Netflix because my brain needed some distraction on this night. So I usually have some sort of either music playing, podcast, Netflix, it just kind of depends. I live alone so I love living alone but I also don't always love silence so I normally have some sort of sound playing at all times whether it's me talking out loud studying or a YouTube video, podcast music, or Netflix so that's just an interesting fact about me. I just don't like silence. And then other times I do want silence. I guess I, I'm just a confusing person because sometimes I want my noise canceling headphones on and no sound. I guess it just depends on my sensory needs for that day. Then I get my bed ready to sleep in. This is a very important part of my night because I need my bed to be set up a certain way in order for me to fall asleep. I have changed the way my bed is set up at night depending on like where I am and what bed I'm using if that makes sense. Like growing up I always had a certain way I like to set up my bed to sleep. I don't know why I, but I have to do this. But as you see I have to set my pillows in that exact formation every single night. That's how they lay on my floor every night. And then I usually will get my pillow all set up and the one thing that can change is how I set up my blankets. Sometimes I sleep on top of my comforter. I don't know why I just do. And other times I'll sleep under it. So if I'm sleeping under it like I was this night, I will normally move everything towards one side of my bed and then I will
will flip up my comforter and I'll actually put a blanket underneath of it and then put the comforter back on it. I don't know if that makes sense, but you can watch me doing it in the video so you'll be able to see it. And again, I'm looking very distracted, so I'm assuming I am watching some sort of video while I'm doing this because, again, I like my brain to be distracted at all times. But that is what a day in my life looks like as an autistic individual. I definitely was missing a few things in here, like brushing my teeth in the morning and the little dance parties I have in my apartment and other things like that. But I guess that's kind of just a general idea of what I do during a day. Sometimes I do certain things throughout the day that every person does and other things that I do throughout the day are because they help me get through the day as an autistic individual. Also remember that every neurodivergent person is different just like every typical person would be different. So a lot of things I do throughout the day may be way different than what other autistic individuals do throughout the day. So if you're really interested in learning more about what the day is like of an autistic person, just keep watching other people talk about their days look at other creators that are neurodivergent and just see what they do because every person's going to be different and yeah I guess that's just my point that don't think that every autistic person's day is going to look like this video because this isn't even how my days look every single day but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this and it's something different that I've never done before maybe I can do more day in the lives like this because there like I said are other things that I didn't show in today's video that are part of some of my days so if you guys are are interested let me know down in the comments and I can definitely do some more days like this but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed that's all for today's video and I'll see all of you in my next video